Hey, what's up guys? It's time for another Journal Hospital Review. The last Journal Hospital Review of the year as today is the final Friday of the year. And next Friday is 2020. I can't believe the year is almost over. And huh, this week is only what, three episodes. Tuesday was a rerun and it didn't come on Wednesday and came on Monday, yesterday, and today, Friday. And they had this standalone episode on Monday with the Christmas Carol with Finn as Scrooge. I actually really enjoyed the episode. It was really cool. I was a little hesitant about it at first because Finn was going to be Scrooge. But I think he did a really great job at it. Um, because I thought somebody else should have played Scrooge. Maybe like, uh, Julian or just Scott. <laughs> But, um, I thought Finn was a great fit for it. I think he did really well. And then had a lot of, used a lot of the cast. And not Sonny and Carly. I was really happy about that. I didn't have to see them. Bravo! I thought it was really cool. Um, they used Liz, Franco, um, the boys, um, Jocelyn, Ava, who was rocking it as queen looking like queen like she's the best dressed out of all of them oh and my girl dr o was up there too she's looking awesome and i thought it was really cool i was like i haven't watched um chris was christmas carol i haven't seen her in forever scourge i don't know. i have only seen it like a couple of times and it's been like forever ago since i watched it so, it was like a good refresher on the story. And I think they did really well with it. And I hope that I would, um, a lot of people are saying that they hope that they do a Christmas story every year. Like, somebody, somebody suggested Home Alone with, um, Aiden. <laughs> I'm like, oh my gosh, I'll be so down with that. <laughs> Home Alone, that's my favorite Christmas movie, like, ever, Home Alone, and so, that would be fun if they did that, and, um, they should do the Grinch one year, that'd be fun, <laughs> that's, um, another one of my favorites, um, I really enjoyed the remake with, um, Jim Carrey, I thought it was really good, I haven't seen the newer one yet, though, but anyways, Thursday and today's episode, Celebrating Christmas. I was not really in the Christmas mood this year. Um, a lot of it hasn't been a really good few months for me, and I just then filled the Christmas beer. Hopefully, maybe next year. I've never really, well, honestly, I'm not a big Christmas fan, honestly. But this year was pretty um, downer about it, even more than usual. But anyways, soaps are going to still show Christmas stuff. And of course, John Hospital is behind on episodes, so <laughs> it's Christmas Eve on Friday. On today's episode, it's still Christmas Eve. They're talking about seeing the damn <laughs> Santa sled, and I'm like, Santa sled? Really? Santa sled, sled, whatever. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Slay. Santa Slay. And I'm like, do you see Rudolph? Is that the light that you saw on Rudolph's nose? And um Curtis was Santa Claus. <gasps> really cool. And um Scout had wished that her mom would come back for Christmas and Ta da She showed up. Um, Jason was able to get her out of prison, and it was kind of funny, because Mel was, like, talking all this shit to Sam about how she wouldn't be able to spend Christmas with her family, and she'd be alone in the cell with her, and stuff like that, and Sam was about to whoop her ass, but then the guard came and took her to, <laughs> took Sam to the ward, <laughs> and Jason brought Sam home while Alexis was with, um, Danny and Scout, which is really cool to see, because we really don't get to see Alexis with her grandkids, which is disappointing. I would enjoy to see that. And even Monica with her grandkids. 
she doesn't get to see them. They're always at her house, but we don't physically see Monica with them. Honestly, that's kind of fucked up. And I didn't like it because they're, uh, even Alexis, making it seem like Scout is Jason's daughter. Which she is not. She's Drew's. And it's getting on my nerves. All the Jason fans are like, <gasps> Scout is Jason's daughter. And all this other stuff. And I'm like, no, the fuck she ain't. She is Drew's daughter. The only connection that they have is through Drew. And Scout is Jason's niece, not daughter. And I wish people would stop fucking saying that. If Jason and Sam get married, they'll be step father and daughter, not biological father and daughter. Get it fucking straight. I am tired of fucking hearing about it. It's fucking annoying to me. Okay? Because y'all didn't say when Sam and Drew were together. I don't recall seeing any Dream fans saying that. Um, Lord, what's that boy's name? <laughs> I forgot his name. Sam's Danny. They weren't saying that Danny was Drew's son. No, they weren't. I, well, I can't say that they weren't. I say that I didn't see any of that. And I didn't say any of that. So. <sighs> so, that was good that Sam was able to come home for Christmas and see her kid. So. And we got to see Franco out of the hospital with Liz and the boys. Which is really cool. And I'm like, oh my gosh. And he was all upset that. Um, that when he had Drew's memories, um, he sat with Kim, which was not his fault because he had Drew's memories and that's what Drew did while Drew, Drew's memories, while Drew's memories was in his body and he was feeling all guilty and was just like, it's not your fault, baby. It's not. <laughs> Precious love. And they were so cute and I'm like, oh, exactly. <clears throat> exactly what we need family together. I wish Scott was there though. They didn't show Scott with them. That would have been a lot of fun to see um them together. Haven't had they haven't had any scenes together since Franco's come back. So hopefully soon that they will. And they had like this whole thing with what's her name? Gladys Sonny's cousin or Mike's cousin. I don't know, I'm not really paying attention. But Mike was upset that they took um his wife, what's her name, Sheila? I don't remember her name. Because I'm not invested in that storyline at all. I'm tired of seeing it and hearing about it and everybody's always praising it about it being amazing. And I do not like it at all. No, I've already seen something similar to that happen in my family and... I don't need to see it played out on the soap opera at all. So, <clears throat> I'd be happy when the storyline is over, for sure. And this Gladys chick seems like such a bitch and a troublemaker. Like, she's gonna, like, fuck up some shit. Like, with Dev or something with Sunny. I just, that's my impression of her. For sure. I don't know, she seems like a troublemaker. I hope she's not sticking around for too much long because she just seems like one of those annoying characters, whatever. But we shall see. I don't, I don't read spoilers, really. Well, someone that I follow on Twitter, like, posts, like, stories, like, Alexis gets a phone call. Spoilers, like, Alexis gets a phone call or Liz is mad about something. And I'm like, little teasers. And I'm like, what the fuck Liz mad at? <laughs> but I don't, um, read, like, drawn out story, um, spoilers, so I don't know exactly what's going down. But hopefully she doesn't stick around for long. And, um, my favorite thing that happened this week was my girl Tracy Quartermain coming home for the holidays with her gray hair looking hot, definitely looking good. And she walks in and the key mansion is all modernized they redid everything like it looks pretty good i like it 
I think it's pretty cool. A lot of people are down on it because there's like it's so modern and it doesn't have any charm, old school charm to it. And I'm like, and someone told me that they moved the door in the stairwell. <laughs> I'm like, I I don't really um pay attention to that, so I. I never really paid attention to where the door was or whatever. But I thought <laughs> that was funny. They redid the mansion and then they <laughs> moved the door. <laughs> they redid the mansion and moved the door. <laughs> and some people on um, Twitter were joking that she got um, the property. <laughs> they got the property brothers to come in and redo it in a week. <laughs> And I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm dying. Y'all need to stop. I can't take this. <laughs> <coughs> so, I like it. I wish Tracy could stay. But I guess she's just sticking around for the holidays. Hopefully till the end of the year, at least. A few more episodes, please. I'm with her and her granddaughter. <laughs> Brooklyn called her granny and she's like, then call me Tracy. <laughs> and I'm like, you looking like a granny with that hair, girl? <laughs> I guess she's like, after the show, after she was done with the show, she's like, fuck it, I don't have to die no more. I'm just gonna be gray. <laughs> but pretty much, and they had a little quarter man get together. They were caroling and. It was so cute. I'm like, they actually did something for the quartermain. I'm like, what? Quartermain's on the screen? What the world? And Michael was there? I'm like, I didn't see this coming. <laughs> and Leo is so such a cute little boy. I'm like, I don't know if that's the same one since the last time I saw him. Probably so, but he's like really adorable. I love his little haircut. It's so cute. But anyways, nothing really happened this week, honestly. There's only three episodes, unfortunately. And I think that the um, General Hospital should have came on new, with a new episode on when, on um, Tuesday. Since they're behind in episodes, it's going to be still Christmas on New Year's. <laughs> At the rate that they're going. <laughs> so, they need to double up episodes or something going on. Should have did it this week with... They, I don't know if it comes on um, Daily Blast Live. It comes on after General Hospital in my area. They were showing reruns. So I'm like, they could have showed two episodes of General Hospital. Catch it up. Catch it up. <laughs> but um, we shall see. Um, the preview for Monday's episode, I'm not feeling it because it just showed Sunny and Carly. And I'm like, really? Y'all been doing so well. Do not make a whole episode about them too, please. Hopefully it's just a malfunction with the editing or something. But anyways, <laughs> how did you like the Christmas episode? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like this video, hit the like button and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Bye.